were having pilots, military pilots and civilian pilots in Eastern Europe and in the Middle East report what unimaginably seemed impossible. They described it as literally the mothership, looking like the mothership from Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Now, if any of you ever seen that movie, remember the very end, this huge mini city floating in the sky and turns upside down. Looks, guess what we caught in Romania in 2022? By the way, the U.S. Embassy. That. Now, is an atmospheric anomaly or something like that? I suppose so. I talked to some of the pilots and they'll tell you that's what they saw and they continue to see it. So there's a whole lot more here, folks. Um, I just want to give you kind of a small taste of, of what's going on behind the scenes. I have some colleagues here. We're working with members of Congress. We're working with our executive branch. We're working with, with other allies and partners on this topic. Um, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. A lot. A lot of discussion. We've got whistleblowers ready to come out full open kimono. They just need the legal protections. Now, I must preface this by saying that uh, in no way did Luis Elizondo state that this photo is of a UFO. In fact, in the video, he readily admits it could be some sort of atmospheric condition or something like that. It's more of just a reference photo to show this is what uh, a mothership looks like. Is an atmospheric anomaly or something like that? I suppose so. But... Upon closer review of this photo, something was discovered. Uh, I must give the next part um, credit to John Greenwald Jr. of the Black Vault. Uh, because without him, I wouldn't have gone down this rabbit trail that I went down. So basically, people are saying that this photo is just a reflection, right? Let me explain. First, let's start with a little bit of background on this picture. If you reverse image search it, you find that it has already been posted on Facebook before. In fact, it got hundreds of thousands of likes and over 30,000 comments or something like that. Right? And even people in the comments saying, this is a reflection. And people already on Twitter found exactly where this photo was taken. This supposed sighting took place in Arad, Romania. And if you look at the arrow, that is the apartment building where the picture was taken. Here are the coordinates and we'll follow the track all the way down to this little thing right here, right? Which you can clearly see in the main photo. Boom, there it is. And then this little bush here, you'll see to the side, also coordinates with the picture and definitely keep that little bush in mind. Now let's get to why people think this photo is a reflection. There's a few points in the photo that kind of stand out. One is this little light source by the bush. You'll notice it's in front of the bush, right? And another is this little red spot down here. Both indications of a possible reflection. And the last is, well, this part. Because they think someone's just standing in front of a window and that's their hair that you see right there. So imagine a head, right? That's what that little red outline is. There are many examples of this in real life because John Greenwald showed a few different pictures on Twitter of other examples of this happening, as you can see in these photos I'm showing. Right? And another thing that is interesting is that Luis Elizondo said that this was taken by the U.S. Embassy. Did I hear that right? Guess what we caught in Romania in 2022? By the way, the U.S. Embassy. That. Well, the only problem is we've already established that this was taken at a residential area in Romania. And the U.S. Embassy in Romania is in Bucharest, which is not close. Obviously, it seems like that's towards the end of his lecture that he's kind of ending here with this bang. He's talking about how it's a real photo, and clearly it is. Uh, I see that in the chat as well, actually flashed uh, um, uh, to, to my right here. But it, it's obviously a real photo, but what it depicts is something else. But 
listen to how it was displayed. Now, before I get into some of those uh, uh, quotes, if you didn't notice it, this is not a personal attack. This is something that we just have to have a conversation about. I'm not trying to make anybody look bad here. Um, Luis Elizondo has addressed this, so I want to say that up front, and we will get into all of that. So I just want to preface all of this. Some of my biggest haters out there think that I just, whenever uh, uh, speak about stuff like this, it is somehow an attack. It is absolutely not. But clearly the picture was presented here as not only a real photo, but something that they caught, quote, caught in Romania in 2022. Also, Luis Elizondo had talked about pilots that were being uh, spoken to, and uh, they were saying that this is what they saw. Now, you can interpret this one of two ways, that this is an actual photo of what they saw. Uh, we, we can clearly kind of rule that out. But maybe Mr. Elizondo meant that this was something that looked like what the pilots were were talking about. I think that's up for interpretation to be to be fair here, but he is talking about these pilots that are seeing this object and he's pointing to this object and it is something that he was sure kind of brought up is it a atmospheric phenomenon maybe, but then implies something that uh, is wildly different than that. So I don't think that he's trying to say that this is undecided. I think he really was pitching this as a UAP to his ticketed audience and let them kind of gasp. You actually hear, if you listen to the clip again, somebody gasp. Anytime you can throw in a reference to close encounters of the third kind, that's going to invoke these types of reactions. So this wasn't pitched as, hey, we don't know what this is yet. Definitely want to crowdsource for information here. Anybody can help out. Great. That wasn't what this was. So this showed up on X. I was incredibly intrigued. I wanted to make sure you guys saw the clip itself. There is a longer one that has some um, surfaced. I invite you to look that up. It didn't really add context to this photo, but he talked about some other documents that have been around for decades. I love those, so I'm glad that he did, um, but it gave a little bit more of a, of a taste, speaking of, uh, of what his lecture was all about. Tweet. Now, Lou Elizondo said, as you all know, I'm always happy to be my own worst critic. A photo that was provided to me by a friend in government a couple of years ago was presented by me two days ago at our engagement in Philadelphia. It looks like we can put this one to bed as our friends in Twitter figured solve this one out. Major bravo to you. Excellent work to whoever solved this one. And a big thank you. Crowdsourcing works. Now let's see if we can together figure out the rest. As folks at the show will attest, this is precisely why I showed the first few slides at the beginning with an example of a fake UAP. We must continue to be vigilant and always go where the data leads. As you know, I will always own up to any mistakes I make. A good lesson here, just because someone in government gives me something, due diligence and scrutiny is always a good idea, onwards and upwards. So there is tons of comments kind of following after that, and some people kind of going after them, other people who were, I guess, loose skeptics kind of taking this to, using this to give more shots, but... Well, first of all, I would like to preface this by saying that as we go through the new AI era, and everybody's been saying this uh, on ufology, a picture or a video is going to be very difficult to give out as proof because things can be faked so easily in these days. So we should stop trusting so much in some kind of footage or picture. And what happened was that Lou was a few days ago at a conference in Philadelphia. Um, where he was talking about a picture from Romania in 2022 that he got from uh, one of his friends in either the intelligence community or the military, I don't know. And he made it seem like it was an actual UFO. Right. And then people on Twitter who are following this case, uh, one of them is John Greenwald from the Black Vault. He debunked the picture. He used a lot of uh, great uh, techniques of uh, picture uh, switching so you could compare it to others in the past. And it was not a UFO, but there were a couple of reactions that got this tweet out from Lou, uh, because instead of uh, keeping the confrontations going, Lou decided to just uh, take the high road and not engage. And I think that was smart from him. Um, but yeah, that's essentially what happened. Uh, I don't think it's honestly that big of big of a deal. Uh, it's it's from it is and it isn't. And I'll tell you why. Um, in my opinion, it it isn't because of everything you just said. It's just someone who said, okay, look, this is someone who I 
trust and they gave me this picture and I'm putting this picture out and oops, you know, you guys were right and I apologize. I got to be a little bit better about this and let's move on, right? That's that's what you think. The yeah. problem is we are 14, 15 days away from this hearing potentially yeah. and he might be one of the guests or speakers potentially. Um why give more ammo to people by doing that? Like, why Why release this now, even if you do think it's real? Why not save you it? Know, why not hold it? You know what surprised me, though? And uh, I really thought when I first saw it, I was like, this must be from a few years ago. But no, it's really recent. That really surprised me. I wasn't expecting that. The picture, you mean? Yeah, the, yeah. the presentation from Blue. Oh, oh, the presentation. Okay. Yeah, it is fairly recent. I thought it was from a few years ago or something, but no. No, he's still and out I, there talking. I say, like, why? Why is he? Why is he talking right now? When yeah. this thing is right around the corner, if I'm anybody who's going to be, t you know, um, asking him questions or having him as one of my star witnesses, I'm going, dude, be quiet, stay hidden, don't say anything. You did. You did what you had to do. You went on every freaking talk show. You got the word out there. You got people talking. Don't post pictures. Don't post anything. Especially this is a guy. Who was like a major intelligence guy, and he's posting those pictures. I mean, it's it doesn't seem smart. Yeah, and he recently also did um, uh, a Twitter Space and a Facebook video where he answered people's questions. Yeah, and it is just too too close to the hearing. I agree with you. Uh, you can't be doing that stuff if, you, if you're going to testify. You should be focusing on your testimony, not on other stuff. You know. <laughs> You're yeah, right. yeah. It's just it just doesn't. It, they're trying to put together a, a big plan here, and then I don't know if you had a chance yesterday. I, I talked about um, that. It looks like that. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it looks like they're going to really be focusing in on the Immaculate Constellation program at this hearing, right? And so, yeah. if you would assume that they're going to bring him to talk about it, you see, he sounded like he was going to testify. Um, if I'm someone who's cross examining or someone who doesn't who wants to show Lou in a light that I'm going, all right, well, let's see if we can take this guy legit. Did you just post something the other day saying something was real when it indeed wasn't? And he's like, uh, I did. Well, how do we know that the other things that you're talking about now, whether it's remote viewing, whether it's all these other things, how do we know that that wasn't something that someone was telling you? Because there's always been this talk of that Lou Elizondo is a disinformation agent, right? So, what if a let's say that let's say that those things are correct and he is and he's trying to get this thing out and then he's called out on it he's like no 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 i was that was me i got goofed right that's part one let's say he's not but let's say he's getting fed information from people that it's like i don't know this is the, this is the one post this one this is, this is going to get you some stuff and then if it's a calculated plan to make him look to discredit him who knows that last part is what alarms me the most, if you ask me, because uh, if he was fed something like that by one of his uh, colleagues within the IC or right. the military, it means it's someone that is high up and probably we know who that is. Right. And that is alarming because that means someone is trying to make uh, all of this effort go to waste.